How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today we're going to be doing a teardown of an electronic unicorn. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Walmart brand of a go-go my walking pup. Everybody's talking about the way I'm walking. That's right. Um, tail. Walk. You get the idea. Anyways, this has been brought to us uh, because it's about time to thin out the herd when it comes to my children's figures. This place is absolutely full of toys, so many that uh, my wife has allowed me to thin out the herd a little bit and take this one out. Don't worry, this was purchased used. This was not a gift. And, geez, most of everything I get from my kids is used. Anyways, shall we begin? So interestingly enough, there's no screws. There's no screws on the handle. Oh, okay, you can see the screws are in here when you bend the light to it. Feels like the head's not attached to anything at all. So, I will be doing a cut around the edge as soon as I, uh, but first, euthanization. Okay, so I'm going to start off around the neck because there doesn't seem to be anything in the head. It will be a good place to start. This probably isn't the best way to be tearing something like this down, but it seems to be the fastest for me. If you ever work with one of these blades and you don't have uh, the rest of it, of course, you risk you risk hurting yourself, so keep that in mind. All right, looks like we have a membrane on the inside. And then the head is just stuffed fluff material. Okay, that's cool. So that's cool. You can definitely mod this. That is so sweet. Maybe I'll just leave the head on, actually. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I can just get this stuff off clean and easy. And that will be just perfect. Actually, I might just be able to mod it. Make it something. Something cooler than a unicorn. What is cooler than a unicorn? Hmm, I might have to think about that. What could be cooler than a unicorn? Cut away from yourself. Oh, that's cute. All right, so it looks like this has been easier to manufacture. Just slide everything on. It would generally just stay there under its own inertia. Okay, let's see what the tail does. Now... Okay, that's just cool on its own. I honestly think that I have improved the cool factor of this unit just by uh, taking its skin off. I should make a hat out of this. I should make a hat out of that. That would be pretty cool. It's a good thing unicorns don't actually exist or uh, we would make unicorn hats out of their tails, I bet. Anyways, you can see exactly what's going on here. Oh, it's still in demo mode? That's interesting. So... Okay, I guess I noticed a little bit of a difference. Now, I wonder what this plug is doing back here. Time to take the head off, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I would say that I do believe I am creating the latest version of Skynet for our robot warrior family. As you can see here, we've created the ultimate robot warrior transport unit for the new, uh, for the new Skynet. I do believe that this one has a particular weak point. Oh, that is so annoying. But as annoying as it is, I will be saving this. I have other plans for it. You can see we have a motor here to make the tail go in the same motor. Now, 
Man, I should be dissecting unicorns more often. This is one of the coolest pieces of tech that I have seen recently. I mean, we get uh, we get an opaque view on the inside. Oh, there's a speaker. There's a speaker on the front. Still trying to figure out what's going on back here. Maybe they were going to put a speaker there, but never ended up getting around to it. But this is going to make the perfect project for my boy, Fortress Maximus. He's always told me that he needs a little puppy dog friend. He would look perfect here with Fort Max, I do believe. That's right, friends. Yes, friends. Gogo, my walking pup, has officially been adopted by Fortress Maximus, and all is good in the world. Anyways, have a good weekend, guys, and have a good time off.